If you or your company are interested in deploying Microsoft SSO solutions, or if you're planning to move towards a hybrid cloud or even a full cloud infrastructure in the future, then syncing your Microsoft Active Directory with Azure AD is a great first step. So in this video, we're going to do just that using the Azure AD Connect Sync tool. Let's get into it. So first let's talk about, well, why would you wanna do this? What are the use cases? So this will simplify your credential management. It'll allow your users to have one password to sign into their local PC, as well as all of their Microsoft 365 email and apps. You'll also be able to deploy single sign-on solutions through Azure Active Directory, which will make sure that your users can get access to the critical programs you use for your business whenever they need to. So I'm sure all this sounds expensive, it sounds time consuming, but luckily Microsoft makes this process super simple with their Azure AD Connect tool. You'll be able to set it up on-prem super quick and in no time you'll be able to use their hybrid identity technologies. So to start off, we're going to prep our domains and I actually have two that I'm gonna use in this tutorial and we have to set up UPN suffixes in Active Directory first to be able to then sync those domains. So if you do have two domains for your business, you'll wanna watch this step. So to start off, we're gonna to go to Active Directory Domains and Trusts and then click on our Active Directory domain, hit Properties, and then we'll add in our UPN suffixes here, which is our domain names that we wanna add. So for me, my main domain is jabemedia.com and then I'm also adding in zachjabe.com. All right, hit apply and hit okay. Then we'll go into our Active Directory users and computers, right click on a user, hit properties, and then go to account and change the extension of the user login name to the domain that we want. Go ahead and hit apply and then okay. And then we'll just need to repeat this process for the other users and the other domains that we're planning to sync. So next we'll need to verify our domains in Microsoft 365. So go to settings, domains. I already have my default domain, jmedia.com in here. I'll add a new domain, type that in, click use this domain. And then we need to verify that we own the domain. So to do this, we have to set this up on our hosting site. There's some MX records that we need to add, some DNS records to add, and that will help us to verify our domain with Microsoft and allow us to use it for email and apps. Once you add those records, it'll take some time for DNS to propagate, but then you'll be able to verify and your domain setup will be complete. So you also want to make sure that you clear out any disabled users, outdated accounts, and check that all of your security groups are prepped before you sync to the cloud. And if you have any users that exist in local Active Directory, but not in Microsoft 365, those will be created whenever you sync. So next we'll go ahead and set up the Azure AD Connect program. And I have this running on a separate virtual machine on my network, as it's not advised to run it on your main domain controller. So I'll have this in the description box below, but you can just download the AD Connect software from Microsoft directly. So I already have it downloaded. I'll just run the program and this is a very quick install and then it'll set up, it'll start up the program. All right, so welcome to Azure AD Connect. We'll agree to the terms, hit continue. So there are custom settings available if you want to do a specific group, set of users, or if you just want to test, do a pilot deployment. Um, for, this, for this tutorial, we're just going to use the Express settings. So you'll need a global administrator account in Office 365 to connect to your tenant, and an account with domain privileges to connect the software to Active Directory. The system will create a default Azure AD Connect service account that is used to run the sync. So we'll verify that all of the domains, the UPN suffixes we added earlier are added. And then we'll hit next. And then this will start the sync process right when this config completes. And then we'll click install. So now the tool will run through all the setup of services, dependencies it needs, and then it'll do an initial sync to Azure AD. Once you see configuration complete, you're all set. So by default, the service will run a sync every 30 minutes, but if we need to make changes in the future, we can do so with some PowerShell commands. So go ahead and open up PowerShell on the sync server. And then we're gonna type import module. 
AD sync. Then we'll type start AD sync sync cycle. And then policy type delta. Then we hit enter. And as long as we see success, we're all set. So now that our users and groups are all synced and set up in Azure AD, all that's left is to test and then make sure everything is functioning as it should. So first we'll sign into our host laptop as jdoe, and this password will be what we initially set in local AD as usual. But now we should be able to use that same password to log in to Outlook. And we're in. So let's go ahead and recap this whole process. So first, we prepped our domains, we added our UPN suffixes, and we prepped all of our users and groups in local Active Directory. We then configured the Azure AD Connect service. Then we started the sync and we talked about how to force the sync if need be in the future. And finally, we tested our users and our groups in the cloud and made sure that everything was running smooth. So hopefully this tutorial helps you to sync your own users with Azure AD and get all the benefits of hybrid authentication. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below. It helps out the channel and I greatly appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.